raise your hand if you would like to make a difference in the lives of young children. Raise your hand again if you would love to make a difference in the lives of young children and mental health is an area that you're really interested in. Raise your hand and say I. So where are you now in this journey? Perhaps there's a young person in your life and they're suffering from some type of mental distress and you don't know how to support them. You don't know what to say. And you really want to help and you end up doing nothing. Or maybe there's so many organisations out there and you don't know which one to choose. There's organisations for helping young people and older people. And because of all of that confusion, you end up doing nothing. Or maybe there's some organisations and some charities out there that are spending more on paying their workers than they are on delivery and helping the young people that really need their help. And this has just left a really bad taste in your mouth and you don't want to give to anything. And if this is where you are now, where would you like to be? Could you imagine that that young person that before that you were, you didn't know what to say, you didn't know how to support them and you know that they're suffering from stress, anxiety or depression, that you knew what to say and what not to say. Could you imagine that it got to your relationship was so great that, that you were their inspiration and they turned to you? Could you imagine that your donation would have made such a big difference in the life of a young person to help them identify their mental health and well-being at a young age? Could you imagine that? And then have a positive impact on the rest of their family. And could you imagine that, that money that you've given, that organisation tells you exactly how that money has been spent and the impact that it's had. So, would you agree that there needs to be a vehicle? If this is where you are now, and you're confused, and you want to make a difference, in the world or you want to contribute towards a movement you just don't know where to start and this is where you'd like to be where you'd really like to be making a difference in the lives of young people around mental health and donating or your time or money would you agree that there needs to be a way to get you from here to here would you agree that there needs to be a way to bridge the gap from instead of feeling confused and not knowing where to start to feel confident knowing that you're making a difference in the lives of young people every day so that's why i'm here i'm here to speak with you about our youth well-being movement so what is a youth well-being movement or julian campbell youth well-being movement it's a collection of people that really want to make a difference in the mental health and well-being of their own lives and the lives of young people. And because of that, we are all committed to making a big difference and championing mental health and well-being. And we, as adults, it isn't just leaving it to the doctors or leaving it to the nurses. All of us together, collectively, we need to be making a difference in our own lives and being the models for young people to follow. And so we're all taking a piece of the action and it's all our responsibility to remove that stigma for young people to be able to speak about mental health and their well-being and where they are now, and where they'd like to be. So one of the things we're championing is our youth well-being accelerator. And I'll be telling you a bit more about that later. And we have a collection of people and one that you might know about is Tito Jackson. That's Michael Jackson's brother and member of the Jackson Five. He's one of our well-being ambassadors. And as our well-being ambassadors, he's part of the youth well-being movement. And he's one of the team that are promoting our cause on social media every day or almost every day. So we would really like you to become 
part of this movement for us to be able to show young people the importance and how crucial it is for them to know how they're feeling and to be able to manage their well-being when they're young to stop them from going into hospitals and being sectioned later on in life because it's something they haven't addressed when they're younger and also the statistics aren't very good so young people can sometimes spend 10 years from the time they're diagnosed with their stress and anxiety, depression or bulimia, to the time they actually start getting help is 10 years. So can you imagine that's 10 years of bulimia, 10 years of depression for it to get ingrained and be a way, a way of that person's life. So it, it's in the end, it's difficult to, to separate them from the illness. And we want to stop all of that. And three-year-olds are being prescribed um, Prozac without any thought or idea of how this is going to impact them in their later years. And so you could be speaking with somebody that has been taking medication since they were a child and you wouldn't know what they're dealing with. The statistics at the moment are 26% of the population that are suffering from mental health difficulties, which means that in a room of four of us, or four of you, that one of you is suffering and you don't know. And could you be one of them? Also, suicides at universities are at all time high. We have three teenagers a week committing suicide. Can you afford to wait another week? So I'm here today to speak with you about the Julian Campbell Foundation Youth Wellbeing Movement. And this is a call to action. And we would love for you to be more involved in our organisation and more involved in the movement because we are looking for donors to donate because £20 can make a big difference towards training a mentor in the community and that mentor trains a young person. Or if you want to be more hands-on, please contact me or contact Julian Campbell Foundation. We've got a, um, we've got a note there where you can um, register your interest and then we'll get back to you. And would you like to become an ambassador? Now, one of our ambassadors, Anna Smallman, he's just come down from Mount Everest and he climbed up there to promote our cause and to mo promote the importance of youth wellbeing. So these are some of the things that you can do to join our movement. And so we have, for example, Bill and Melena Gates. I don't know if you've heard about them, but they had the idea that they wanted to eradicate illness. And through their affiliation with other organizations and other charities in the whole world, they've managed to eliminate um, the polio virus. There's about three or four people in Africa that still have the polio virus. And so they can't say it's completely eliminated until it's under control and no, no people have it, have it. And I think that's amazing. And that's what I want us to do around mental health and well-being. We want to stamp out the stigma, to say that it's, it's fine for young people to speak about what it is that they're dealing with, to be able to turn to us and to, um, as adults or their good friends, to be able to get support. So these are some of the things. And if you'd like to find out more information, please do contact me and leave me a message. So do donate now or register your interest to become an, um, a volunteer or register your interest to become an ambassador or share this, please, so we can spread the word and we can have a movement, a global movement to make a difference in the lives of our young people in the future by leaving a legacy so that's something else that you'd be doing as well, that after we are dead and gone, that we're happy knowing that our children are not only having longer lives, that we're spending a lot on uh, medication and, and drugs and, and research, trying to um, extend the duration of our lives. What is the point of having a long life if you're not feeling great? What is the point if you're spending a lot of it in anxiety and depression? So we want to leave that legacy and know that when we're dead and gone, that our young children are able to manage their well-being, know when they're feeling stressed, 
anxious or depressed and to be able to do something about it and have those exciting lives that they've dreamed of having when they were a child. So please donate now, register to become a volunteer or contact us to become an ambassador like Alan Smallman or Tito Jackson. Looking forward to hearing from you.